Recently, I showed several videos about extruder and gear calculation. These are the preparations for extruder design. Hi, welcome to Slow Engineering. I'm David. The tool changer is a solution for multi-material 3D printing that involves a system with multiple tool heads. Unlike the first modification, each tool head has a nozzle and can load a single filament individually. This configuration reduces the weight of the print head and enables high-speed printing. Although rapid 3D printing is not always desired, a boost in print speed is still welcome. Therefore, the key to the tool changer system is the weight of the tool heads. Each tool head will have an extruder if the setup has a direct extrusion system. I want to discuss the importance of a lightweight extruder project. There are currently several models available on the market that demonstrate the latest trend. I recently purchased an extruder with gear kits. I chose this extruder because the drive gear has a large gear setup that reduces the amount of grinding on the filament. This results in a consistent printing flow, especially with flexible materials. The extruder's mechanism has a single gear reduction, making it easier to fit with self-made parts. Before making the extruder parts, it would be better to examine the extruder itself closely. The extruder parts are manufactured using CNC machining to ensure precise hole positions and pins. These pins provide shafts that help align the gear with the motor gear to transmit torque. The largest gear in the assembly has 44 T's and is connected to the motor gear, while the other end of the shaft has a gear with 17 T's. The gear with 17 T's engages with the 37 tooth gear that drives the filament, and the filament drive engages with another gear with the same amount of T's to push the filament. It's worth noting that the stepper I have has an input gear with 10 T's. Using these parameters, I can calculate the final reduction, approximately 9.5A. Let me explain if you are wondering how I arrived at this calculation. There are two pairs of connections on gears. The first pair consists of the driver gear, which has 10 T's and the 44 tooth gear, resulting in a 44 tenths gear ratio. The second pair uses the same method with a 37 17 gear ratio. Multiplying these two ratio, the final reduction is approximately 9.5A. This calculation will help me determine the appropriate parameters to use in the firmware. It is essential to estimate each gear's module and diameter before purchasing a motor. The gears must have the same module value to engage properly. When selecting a stepper motor, choosing the right driver gear is crucial. Each gear has a pitch circle, which is a virtual circle that touches the connected pitch circle on the other gear. The pitch circle diameter is between the root circle, the bottom of the teeth, and the outside circle, the diameter including the entire gear. By performing calculations, we can determine that the module of these gears is 0.5. I previously shared a video on measuring and calculating gear modules. Selecting the same module value driver gear with the stepper motor is recommended when purchasing them. To design the extruder, I draw the pitch circle to establish the initial constraints. I use the extruder as a template to determine the relative positions of the gears. Once the rear side is finished, I add the tension lever with the gear holder. This holder requires support when printing. Finally. I designed the front side of the extruder, which includes the pads of the filament, bearing, and corresponding pin ends. One might ask why an aluminum extruder is not used instead. Well, the aluminum extruder has two holes for fixing it in place. This setup requires an additional adapter between the hard end and the extruder. By building my extruder with custom holes, I can reduce the weight and space needed for adapters. I've been working on a 3D printing prototype, and the front part of it has an optimized design. I've been managed to create a model that doesn't require additional support. After several iterations to optimize and add features, 
The extruder functions as expected. I will also measure the weight of both the aluminum and plastic extruders. The back of accessory includes heated inserts and screws for the plastic extruder. As you can see, the plastic extruder is lighter than the aluminum one. And its most significant advantage is that I have full access to its design, allowing me to design on the entire configuration. However, please know that this is not the final design. I might add more features to adapt it to other parts of the tool head. And the material will also change to the one I tested before to withstand high temperatures and avoid deformation. Nonetheless, the extruder itself is correctly functioning. The next objective is to establish a way to connect in the extruders to other components such as the hot end, the power cooling system, and possibly a CAN bus control board. If you are interested in this project, please like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up with the project's development. Have a great day and see you next time.